Welcome to a place where the past is always present, where legacies linger and legends live. Deadwood's fabled Adams Museum, the oldest history museum in the Black Hills. Hi. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Arlan. I'm nice the curator to meet you. here at the Adams Museum. Um, it's wonderful that you're here. We are the oldest history museum in the Black Hills, and I'm going to show you a few things that came in very early. Uh, to the museum. It opened in 1930 and you have to remember that there were some very wealthy people here who traveled quite a bit. So when they came here they brought us all sorts of interesting things and of course most of them are right here. This what is, is a, this contraption right here? That is interesting. It is called a conformature. It actually was made and patented in France and it allows a hat maker to adjust all of these little columns, all of these little uh, pieces that you see so that when he made a hat it would fit your head exactly. Who's this little guy right here? <laughs> he is one of two puppies um, who belonged to a man named John Gray. John Gray was an early mining superintendent for the Wasp Number no. 2 and uh, he came in on the very same wagon train that Wild Bill and Calamity Jane did. Really? So uh, the puppies came in with him and we think that maybe one of them might have licked the boots of Wild Bill Hickok. We licked don't the boots know. or did something else to the boots? First locomotive in the Black Hills. Yes. Um, came out from here on a bull train and was used at the Homestake mine underground for many, many years. And then once they had developed better means of moving ore cars underground, they brought it up and used it on the uh, surface. So, mm -hmm. Now this was a rough and tumble town. Yes, it But was. women had a pretty key place, didn't they? Yes, they did. Um, let's go look at some of the things that talk about the ladies here. Good. All right, Don, I was talking about the ladies and the influence that they had here in Deadwood, even though it was a very rough, rough place. And the vast majority of the citizens at that time were men. The women came with families. They wanted to set up a, a real town, a place where they could raise their families and feel good about it. You've got to have women to have a real town. That is exactly right. So this area is devoted to the women of Deadwood. Here we focus on kind of the contrast of the women's roles here in Deadwood with a beautiful dress um, and a beautiful photo album that was very lovingly displayed in every home, wow. along with the ox yoke, which signifies the really hard work that it took to what a get contrast. Mm -hmm. Somebody who handled herself very well in the, in the series Deadwood on HBO, which I loved and I watched, was this lady. That's right. Calamity Jane. Everyone in town knew who she was. When she got drunk, she'd scream and holler, and they all knew that it was Calamity was downtown again, you know. Um, Guess who's back? Yep. In some <laughs> ways, I think that was the attitude. But she was a good person. Um, she took care of people when they got ill. There was a smallpox ep epidemic, and she was in the pest house taking care of the sick people. And, and she was totally, in the, in the show anyway, in love with this guy. Mm -hmm. She may have had a mad crush on Wild Bill, but it was not reciprocated. It was not a, a mutual thing at all. Wild Bill was um, much of a, a dandy, very clean, in fact, people talked about how unusual he was because he actually bathed every day. Dead man's hand. Yep. This is what he was holding. Reportedly, it is. The man who um, passed these along to his family was actually named Richard Stevens. After things settled down, you know, he went over and grabbed the cards that were in Wild Bill's hand. So. These are nice. Supposedly, supposedly these, these are it. Aces and Aces. Wow. With the Queen of Hearts. And we get questions about this all the time. And I just say, this is what it's supposed to be. My stepfather asked me what the other card was in Dead Man's Hand. Now I know. It was a Queen of Hearts. Yep. 